star seeds and welcome back to my channel if you're new here be sure to subscribe to the channel and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back friend so as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail this is the earth sign reading for the end of july so if you are a capricorn taurus or virgo sun moon and rising this video is for you um so we're gonna get right into it earth signs i love this reading it it kind of warmed my heart um so starting off we have the ace of pentacles okay this is just new beginnings okay taking that leap the ace okay ace of pentacles materials finances just you know new beginnings okay new beginnings overall also here with the page of swords this is you being eager you being willing to take those leaps and to take those you know to grasp on to these new beginnings okay this is you being willing and taking these leaps taking these space uh speaking these new beginnings into existence okay so this is kind of something that you've called forth this is something that you've been working on this is something that you've been cultivating okay um this new beginning and it's perfect timing okay perfect time and perfect uh, spirit just said alignment so um yeah the way things are happening for you they're happening in divine timing okay um also we have the the king of wands so what this is it's like you're you you're taking this this new beginning is a, you're stepping into your power okay you're beginning to step into your power before i wish you guys could see like overhead or like see the the spread the way that i see it in my head um but what it was saying it was like there was so much power built up inside of you that you have yet to touch that you have yet to tap into um because there was just so much outside things going on um some insecurities a lack of self a uh, lack of self acceptance um and all of, and with insecurities and self and the lack of um accept uh self acceptance all these things build up they build up around your heart so think of this as your heart and think of like all these um this aura or each color each band on the outside though that's things building up on it okay so you you kind of are like taking this action and taking this this new beginning and leap of faith to kind of tap into your heart space tap into yourself root chakra okay um tapping into and stepping into your power okay earth signs um I feel like earth signs are are the signs uh mostly out of the zodiac mainly uh Taurus and Virgo that are the more skeptics or um not as spiritually tapped in you know what I'm saying just overall from since once I've started my readings and just how I notice things like online I would say Taurus and Virgo are kind of like the the main ones who haven't really i would say my tribe or you know from what i see and what i feel are the ones that um are kind of like on the outside of the spirituality kind of like looking in a little bit kind of like i hear y'all on some of this but i ain't really getting too much and i ain't really fooling into that i ain't got time you know what i'm saying but now you're seeing things a little bit more you're st you're kind of like tapping into your your power and you're like okay let me start to, let me do some research let me read a book let me see what this means you know what i'm saying you're kind of working things out for yourself and i love that for you guys um i believe that spirituality is something that um definitely cannot be taught it's something that you do off your own strength okay um whatever practices teachings whatever the case may be however you move throughout your life that's you and it, you design it to your own personal self okay you don't have to listen to everything that other people are doing or whatever they have on the internet whatever memes or you know tiktoks or things like that you um you take on whatever spiritual practices or whatever um spiritual teachings that resonate with you and that you feel comfortable with okay um and that what works for you okay you don't have to take on anything else outside of that you don't have to just rushing to things either okay you take things how how you can physically take them um so we do have the six of cups here too in reverse and that's just kind of like living in the past living in that nostalgia kind of um kind of just really just rewinding time when 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 we decide sorry i'm starting when we decide to kind of step into our power and you know dive into things and dive into ourselves um some of you may be looking into your birth charts so, i mean you know what i'm saying what time was i born and looking into your planets and looking into your your big three and things like that um so as you're as you're waking up and as you're tapping in 
we kind of rewind too. We kind of go back and we say, well, look, this situation happened and did it play out because of this? And then, you know, you start to see things from different perspe perspectives and different angles. And sometimes when that happens, we can kind of get stuck in the past. You don't want to get stuck there. You kind of can kind of like analyze it, go through it and say, you know, okay, aha, this happened because of that. Aha, that happened because of that. And you kind of want to realize it and and move on from it okay don't sit in the past don't don't linger there too much don't linger in that hurt too much kind of you know like let it out get over it you know go through it sit through it realize it like oh wow you know that could have been this or this could have been that and um kind of move forward from it okay um so yeah as as you're waking up and tapping in it's okay to kind of revisit things but just don't sit on it for too long um also, after the Page of Swords, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Magician, okay? So, it's like you got the King of Wands on top of this, too, and then all these other cards around it. And this is your power. This is you. This is you and your, your power, okay? Queen of Pentacles, Earth Signs, the Magician, having everything, having that pinnacle, that wand, that sword, that cup, okay, having all your all the materials that you need, having having everything and just being in tune, <laughs> tapping into you, tapping into who you are, okay? Um and you kind of went went full throttle, went like rushing, 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 okay? Knight of Wands, like hold up, like let me go read some books, let me go do some researching, let me let me get in tune with myself. You may some of you may have even meditated. Some some does Spirit is like, some of y'all started meditating. <laughs> some of y'all started meditating and clear, clearing your minds. And I love that. And you're, you're, you're noticing a sense of self, okay? It's like a refreshment, okay? It's like, wow, who knew? You got the Eight of Wands with enlightenment to it. This is full throttle, full rush with the Page of Swords, the Page of Swords and the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands. You are so eager to learn about yourself. It's not making any sense. Some of y'all are like, I got to dive into myself. I got to dive into myself. And you're doing that. And I love that. Um, take it a day at a time. Take it one step at a time. Take it a day at a time. Um, also, when I was saying you're kind of maybe lingering in the past, tr the trickery card was here with that too. Um, like I said, noticing like, oh, okay, this may have been that and that was that may have been that or this person was really trying to do this. And you know what I'm saying? Like as you tap in and, and get tap into your intuition and, and just getting more in tune with yourself, um, situations start to make a little a lot more sense to us. Um, like I said, in different perspectives. So you may be noticing like there was some some trickery around or there was something that was around you that wasn't completely for you and you may have recently just removed that okay there's there may have been something that was recently like removed out of your life and and, and mis like moved around or kind of like uh replaced too sorry i don't know that just wanted to come out spirits like oh no it didn't get moved it got replaced honey <laughs> they got replaced um so yeah something um something or someone got removed and replaced whether it be um a, a relationship or job um definitely got removed <laughs> and replaced um because it was not for you okay it definitely was not for you and that's good that's a good thing so um uh, message from spirit we have the king of cups and the five of cups as you tap into this as you get in tune with yourself it's not an easy ride um you may just you may have times throughout the day where you're getting downloads um and you may cry you may you know you're releasing you're you're releasing so much built up baggage of and years and years of uh hurt and, and pain and and just things that have been that have been sitting on your subconscious so if you're new to meditation if you're new to all these things that you're you're stepping into your power and that you're doing if you're new to crystals if you're new to all these things and um this is like your first time you're you're going through this healing process this is what it looks like this is what the healing process looks like five of cups king of cups okay so this is what with these paired it's like at the end of the day you're not gonna cry for long you know what i'm saying it's like remember like okay let it let it out let it go through it's just this too shall pass like let it flow and keep it moving like keep you're gonna keep yourself together you know what i'm saying you with you being an earth sign you're gonna keep yourself together okay um so i love that for you like you're not crying necessarily over spilled milk but you're crying over like release like you're releasing years and years of heartache and frustration and that's just been built up on you okay 
um, insecurities and things like that. But you're stepping into your power. You're stepping into your power and you're going for what you know. So I love that for you, Earth Signs. Tapping into that enlightenment um, as we're stepping into Leo season and this full moon in Aquarius. Use this energy to the best of your abilities. Um, oh, yeah. And, and yeah, things being revealed, too. Definitely with this full moon and with that trickery card. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. May this be a great process for you. Great ascension. Um, if you need um, any questions, be sure to find me on Instagram. Uh, hit my DMs. Ask me anything. Um, yeah. Share this video to all your social media platforms. Give it a like and a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.